Happy Wellness Wednesday. I'm Neil Davis, fitness trainer and health educator with Neil Davis Fitness. My focus this week is on asthma. Yesterday was World Asthma Day, and I just want to shed some light on the link between obesity and asthma. People who are obese are 92% more likely to get asthma, especially if you're women. However, some lifestyle choices uh, can help improve the quality of life if you've already been diagnosed or hopefully help prevent you from getting it in the first place. Uh, the first thing we want to make sure that we're doing is we're exercising. 150 minutes a week of moderate to intense activity. Yoga is fine. Pilates is fine. Strength training is good. Uh, some cardio, a mixture of, of all four would be even better. To make sure that you're doing that to, to prevent, uh, again, getting asthma or improving the quality of life that you have uh, with asthma. The next thing is nutrition. People with asthma are usually uh, low in vitamin D. And you can get vitamin D from many plant-based sources. Uh, we're talking about calcium fortified soy milk, your whole whole grain cereals, uh, orange juice, um, almond milk, foods like uh, like that, or even your plant ba uh, your uh, meats, uh, salmon, your trout, your tuna, sardines. All again, good sources of vitamin D. But it's very important to make sure you're making these lifestyle choices that can help either prevent asthma or help you deal with asthma once you've already been diagnosed. This has been Neil Davis with Neil Davis Fitness. I'm reminding you to be the very best versions of yourselves. Till next week, have a great day.